People in South Carolina are feeling the presence of Hurricane Matthew, where severe winds are moving on shore. It could also scrape North Carolina. Some of the South's most historic cities face the weakening hurricane as Matthew blows north along the Atlantic coast, flooding towns and damaging roads in its path. The storm killed at least four people in Florida and knocked out power to more than one million homes and businesses. Even though its strongest winds stayed just offshore, Matthew left at least 300 people dead in Haiti. Chris, what's Matthew looking like right now? As we were talking about, it is weakening this morning, continues to do so. It was a Category 2 storm in the last hour, now downgraded to a Category 1, but still cranking up the wind, the storm surge, dumping a lot of heavy rain, causing flooding issues around Charleston, South Carolina, up into North Carolina and around Myrtle Beach. So we're looking at the winds now sustained at 85 miles per hour, making it a Category 1 hurricane. It will stay a Category 1 hurricane as it impacts the Carolinas this weekend and eventually pushes out to sea back to the east into the Atlantic, eventually weakening, weakening as a tropical storm as we head into early next week. Fernanda?